What's up guys, how's it going? Back up north in Buffalo, visit my buddy Charlie. Just a couple nights here, so we're taking the opportunity to take his boat down to the Allegheny Reservoir for an overnight camping adventure. Figured I'd bring you along. Yee the interesting part about this trip is I don't have any of my own gear, so I'm relying on Charlie and all his stuff. So we packed up a pack last night for me, he's just loading up his pack now, and we're getting the boat situated. We're gonna hit the road. Peace. All right, we're all loaded up. Gonna hit the road. Camping overnighter. Boat Dude. camp. Let's do it. You ready? Man, I hope I got tent poles. All right, what's up, guys? Hey. Back. Back with my buddy Charlie here. We're putting the boat in, going camping, and I uh, just got to the boat launch here, and it's starting to rain. So things are looking up. Yeah, right on track. <laughs> find a spot. Uh, launched at Willow Bay. Handsome was uh, not full, but there were some people there. Hopewell had some people there, so we came down to Pine Grove. It's actually the same spot that we took, what, a year and a half or so ago when we took my old man's boat here. And the uh, rain cleared up. It looks uh, like it's gonna be a nice sunny day. Just got her tied up to shore so she doesn't float away. All right, we're gonna go hit the pay station, but uh, we don't know what number site we have because uh, it's missing. So we're just gonna have to guess. Hope Charlie's getting a nice shot of my ass back there. I'm trying to zoom in, but you're moving too quick. <sighs> Got two more sites down there. We got a shit shack right there. Pay station up that way, across the bridge. All paid. I'm not really sure what happens if you don't pay, because nobody's ever really here to check on you, but we always pay. Sometimes, even if we didn't bring exact change, we overpay. Hey, look at that. If you lick him, he turns you into a princess. Extremely ginormous plots with Kevin, but I'm not Kevin. All right. Using Charlie's tent today, and I never put it together, so he's helping me. She's set up. Salt Creek, Big Agnes. Got some uh, Trekology pillow. I'm not sure, another down blanket and a sleeping bag, which I probably won't even need. Because it is now hot out. Little toad. Size comparison. <laughs> All right, you know what time it is. Tick time. Get off there. Get away from me. Step two, cheers. Camping on the reservoir, you know how we do. Time to take a dip.
Can't beat the view. Man. So happy we came out and did this. This is awesome. Just in town for a few days. I had to come out for an overnighter. This is a man's axe. I used to something this big. <laughs> How many different angles are you getting? <laughs> Charlie's a YouTuber now, he comes with 75 cameras. Charlie's not usually the fire starter. What is this work? You gotta light the matches on fire, Charlie. Did you read the instructions? We should have just got a fire log. <laughs> so we're gonna have to squirt some more on here. Wow, that doesn't burn at all. Really had higher hopes. Looks like it'll go. All right, adventure time. Going to find that uh, abandoned oil rig pump thing that we found last time we were up here it's been a while but it was pretty cool so i want to check it out again there she be all right Ow. <clears throat> okay, it's installed in the rock. That's cool. <laughs> Second building and the drum over there. This is a roof that used to connect the two.
Ah, Pine Grove. Feels good to be back. We we're just checking out a few other sites that look like they haven't been camped at in like decades. Like there's no remnants of fire in the fire pit, nothing. I mean, the biggest issue at this place is there's no real level ground other than the site we have to put a tent on. So it'd be like a hammock camper place to come, but it doesn't even look like a lot of people do that. But that's good for us because that means it's never really going to be frequented and uh, we like to be alone. So could have went to Handsome or Hopewell, but there's just like one or two campers at each one of those campgrounds. And if we have the opportunity to have a campground to ourselves or camp with other people, we're going alone. <clears throat> Can't beat it. Man. Fire's going out. Put some wood on there. Here, let's put some more of this stuff up though. Sun is sinking low. It's set down behind the uh, hill back there, so it's only darkness from here on out. Looks like we might have a good uh, weather night though. It's still calm and uh, there's no rain in the forecast, so fingers crossed. Last time we were here, it was about this time. We had a nice pink uh, sunset and then a torrential downpour came in and we had to put the pop-up tent in and tie it to the picnic table and it was crazy, so. Uh, hopefully, for our sake that doesn't happen, for video's sake it's way funner, but I'll take a nice calm evening. Made it some morning. What's up, guys? Heck yeah. Boat didn't float away. It's a good sign. Time to pack up. friends all packed up oh Jesus better watch where I'm going now we just gotta unbeach the boat which is severely beached right there <laughs> we made it well oh, not yet we unstuck the boat if you made it this far in the video Thanks for sticking around, guys. Just hit the like button, subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys. We've launched a successful trip so far. 
We haven't made it back to the boat dock yet, but. Made it this far, thanks for watching. Made it back to the uh, dock, boat launch, and uh, it was a very just calm night, thankfully. Last time we came here, and I was at the same spot, it was uh, thunderstorming and raining, and we had to hustle to get the uh, boat loaded up. So, glad it didn't turn out that way this time. Thanks for coming along. Till next time, peace. You.